Lucid 3D, thank you for $7 Canadian. This is a bad trend. Uh, I'm looking to get an analog VRX to connect to OBS for live rips. What are the options besides the SkyDroid or Eashi and USB module higher quality? Lucid 3D, um, it sucks, but analog to digital, there's, there is only really one great answer for analog to digital. So what people have done in the past is they get an analog module and they get a, a CVBS capture device. Um, like, uh, may still even have one. Hold on. Shit. They knocked that over. Um, uh, I believe that somewhere in here I still have this damn thing. No, I don't. Wow. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, oh, so I'll find a picture of one. Uh, you want, so don't do this. This is bad. This is the wrong thing to do. So what people will do is they'll buy something like this, okay? And they'll plug their analog module in here, and they'll plug this into an HDMI capture card. And it doesn't work well because the, it, the FPV analog signal is so crappy that this module can't lock onto it. The, dis the goggles that we have are specially tuned to respond correctly to a crappy analog signal where the sync pulses are constantly getting disrupted. This guy, the second the signal gets weak, it just goes to blue screen and you lose signal. So these don't work well. What you need, what you need is this. Now, if you have a set of HD0 goggles, that'll work fine too but you may not have a set of HD Zero goggles. If you want to live stream analog feeds, I would buy this monitor solely for the purpose of live streaming analog feeds because the HD Zero system is very good at receiving an analog signal and it outputs it over HDMI. And then you just use an HDMI capture card and that's how you would, that's how you would do it. The HD Zero goggles and the HD Zero monitor are the single best way to live stream analog signals because all other analog to digital receivers don't deal correctly with the shitty analog signal that comes off an FPV uh, feed. Now, if you have all the money in the world, not the VTX, VRX. Or the event VRX. If you have all the money in the world, you could get something like this, which is the HD0 Event VRX, and it's doing basically the same thing, but it does four channels at a time, and that's pretty cool. But um, this is something that HD0 has, has really perfected in a way that I don't think anybody else has. And I struggled with this for years when I was trying to do analog capture in a way that accurately represented what I was seeing in the goggles. And this answer didn't exist. And now that it does exist, analog is not as big of a deal as it once was. And I'm not as excited about it as I would have been if it had happened five years ago. But Yeah, there's certainly some irony, as Black Jungle points out. There's certainly some irony in the fact that HD Zero wanted to make this awesome digital FPV system, and it, it you know they made what they meant to make, but it turns out that also it's one of the better analog systems <laughs> out there. So. Uh, 